Hey everyone, this is Rob Deer's blog and welcome to another animated news roundup. So there's been a lot of news going on in the animation world and three topics that popped up for this week. And the first topic is um, Saima Zagami, who is the current president of Nickelodeon, is currently stepping down as president for Nickelodeon. And until they until they find a new president, Sarah Levy, who's actually the um operating the chief operating officer of Viacom Media Networks, will lead the brand for Nickelodeon until they find a new president for Nickelodeon. And then the second part of the news is that it's possible that Teen Titans might get its sixth season, according to a tweet that was made by Tara Strong online, and we'll go more into detail about that in the thoughts for the day section. And then the last bit of news is the controversy regarding about the Cal Art style that's received lots of controversy due to the incident, um, due to the negative reception that Thundercats War has gotten, and due to its also similar Cal Art style that a lot of fans are not liking the artwork of um, Thundercats Roar. So now we'll go for the thoughts for the day and I'll go through all each of these um, news bits uh, and give out my opinions about each news bit. So the first story for the day about Saima Sagarmi, um, who's the president, who who is the current president of Nickelodeon, stepping down as um, president of Nickelodeon. Um, for me, I'm not really that surprised that she is um, stepping down as president of Nickelodeon because, um, you know, if you're a president of a TV network or something like that, most of them don't last that long. Um, they'll probably last for a few, few good years or so, and then they step down, and then somebody else takes over as a president of Nickelodeon. And she's been president of Nickelodeon since um 2006 until 2018 so technically she's been president of Nickelodeon for over 12 years which is a pretty long time for any president of Nickelodeon I believe she's like the longest running president on Nickelodeon if um for what I can tell and um Again, I'm not that surprised that she's stepping down as president from Nickelodeon, um, which is kind of odd a little bit, though. I will admit it's a little odd because there were other creators, there were other people stepping down from Nickelodeon. Like you had Dan Snyder um, leaving Nickelodeon. You had Butch Hartman also leaving Nickelodeon. So you had... Um, you had a lot of people leaving Nickelodeon around the same time that the president is stepping down. So it does make me wonder about what's going on over at Nickelodeon uh, for everybody to step down like this. But anyway, um, <clears throat> what I do hope to see from the new president of Nickelodeon... Um, I hope they do the scheduling for Nickelodeon a little better. Like, one of the biggest issues I had um, under Saima's um, tenure as president of Nickelodeon was that um, the schedule w was, like, kind of wonky. Like, they always um, aired SpongeBob SquarePants all the time. They always aired The Loud House all the time. Like, they aired the same shows over and over again. And then... Um, you know, they barely aired a lot of the newer shows that came on unless um, you were a Dan Snyder live action show or you were SpongeBob SquarePants. Chances are you weren't going to get aired on the schedule. And I think that was uh, one of the biggest issues going on with Nickelodeon this recent years. And then there's the issue about Nickelodeon has this thing about you have to have like over 2 million um, viewers <clears throat> to be like um, acceptable for the schedule to make it on the schedule. And I think that's like a two like a totally unrealistic goal because most shows that start out on the network they don't automatically get two million views like i bet you it took years for spongebob squarepants to get over a million views like that um so you know why not give the other nicktoons or the other live action shows a chance to try to develop it to two million views besides be like oh well they didn't get two million views right off the bat so we're gonna put this show in the on graveyard slot or we're gonna cancel this show because they didn't get the views we wanted um yeah, I think they should have just waited a few more seasons to let the show um, develop with the audience. And then I think the shows would have done well in the future, um, despite the fact that they didn't get a million views right off the bat. But um, hopefully with the new president of Nickelodeon, maybe they'll change the schedule a bit. They'll try to give all the shows um, good times. Um, they won't have to rely on um, doing like 2 million views to be the number they have to set to um, have a show to stay on the network. Um, hopefully they can lower the number of viewership. And, you know, you, they could still um, get lots of money if they lower the number of viewership from 2 million to viewers to maybe a million viewers. Um, because again, a lot of shows don't, automatically get that many viewers right off the bat so i think that's something they need to change with the um current president of nickelodeon um hopefully the schedule will be a lot better in the near future um with this um new president 
So going on to the second story, and it's about Teen Titans possibly getting a sixth season. Now, this has been circling around the internet for like months now um, about whether or not Teen Titans, the original Teen Titans, is going to get a sixth season. And um, I brought this up because there was a tweet that Tara Strong made, um, and according to from Toon Zone um, forums, and it says, well, just so y'all know, at a movie session today, they told us that if the Teen Titans Go movie kicks all butts, they would do our show at the same time as season six, for reals. So go see it, if you hate us, even if you hate us. Um, but yeah, that's um, according to the tweet that was made by um, Tara Strong. And I do take this bit of news with a grain of salt because, um, one, I don't know if the success of Teen Titans Go movie is going to really bring back Teen Titans Season 6. Um, because if that was the case, then um, Teen Titans Go, you know, Teen Titans would have been brought back a long time ago or the original series would have gotten six seasons a long time ago if um, because Teen Titans Go was so successful, it was making Cartoon Network lots of money, they could, Cartoon Network could have easily brought back the original series back. And another thing is that... Um, you know, even if they bring back a sixth season of Teen Titans, you know, who's um, going to be working on the show with the original people who worked on the original Teen Titans series come back and work on the show? I know that the original voice actors are going to come back because they're currently working on Teen Titans Go, but I'm not sure about the original writers like Lim Mar Marikami, um, and those are going to come back and work on Teen Titans Go. Um, Teen Titans uh, um, again. So um, I am curious to see who they're going to hire for the sixth season of Teen Titans if Teen Titans does get a sixth season. And I do think now would be a good time to get Teen Titans their sixth season because since um, nostalgia is a strong factor nowadays with all these reboots and all these revivals going on, um, it would be a good idea to bring back Teen Titans for a revival season. So um, just like what they did with Samurai Jack for his fifth season. So um, I would love to see the original Teen Titans get a sixth season, especially if they could wrap up all the plot lines they had in the original series that they weren't able to wrap up when they got canceled. So again, I do take this bit of news with a grain of salt. Um, she might have been talking about the sixth season for Teen Titans Go. Uh, again, that's why I'm taking this news with a grain of salt. Um, but I am, if, if this is really true, um, I really do hope that Teen Titans get their sixth season and wrap up all the loose um, lines they had with the, um, the loose threads they had with the original series. And then the last bit of news is that the Cow Arts um, style is getting a lot of controversy from a lot of fans due to the um, negative reaction that Thundercats Roar had gotten um, over his art style. And my thoughts on this is that, um, honestly, I don't think, um, you know, I... I don't think uh, you should really judge a show by its art style, at least in my opinion. Um, at least in my experience, you know, I learned not to judge shows by their art style because um, I judge a show by its content. I want to see if the show's written well. I want to see if the characters are written well. That's how I judge a show. And if the show has a weird type of art style, but the show is still written well enough that I like the show anyway, it, despite the art style. The only time that the art style um, does bother me a bit is that if it's drawn in a way that's like um, very bad and makes the characters look too ugly or... Um, you know, the animation doesn't move very well. That's when I get a little distracted with the art style from the show's um, content. So um, that's probably the only time I'm, I'm like, you know, I, I'd be a little concerned with the art style. But I honestly don't think that the cow, cow art style is like to really to blame for what's going on with Thundercats War. Like, we don't know what Thundercats War is all about yet. We don't know if it's going to be like Teen Titans Go is going to be a wackier version of Thundercats. We don't know because it didn't um, premiere yet. So, um, you know, I take this with a um, grain of salt because we got to see what Thundercats War is like before we really accuse the show of being bad or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I think with the cow art style, it's just an art style. Like, um, you know, it, it may not be to everybody's taste, which is fine. You know, if you don't like the art style, that's fine. But I don't think it's something that's going to technically ruin the show or anything like that. It's going to make the show bad just because the art style doesn't look that good. Um... And I don't think um, it's fair that it's being bashed on because of what's going on with Thundercats War. Um, you know, again, we have to see what Thundercats War is like as a show first before we really, um, you know, judge the show by whether or not it's good or bad or not. So I think um, we just have to wait and see what Thundercats War is going to be like before we accuse the show being terrible or anything like that. But I do think, you know, Cow Art Style shouldn't be accused like that just because... Um, 
you know, a lot of people don't like the art style, but, um, again, we don't know what the show's really going to be like, and we need to see what the show's going to be like first before, you know, uh, we deem the show being negative or something like that. So that's my thoughts for the day, and that's the news um, update for this week. And let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think about all this news going on? Um, what do you think about Saima's um, stepping down as president from Nickelodeon? And what do you hope to see um, be done with Nickelodeon in the near future? Um, do you think that Teen Titans, the original Teen Titans series, is going to get their season six? Or um, do you think this bit of news is um, just a rumor? Or and um the last news um do you think the cow art style is like ruining um animation as a whole or do you think you know art style shouldn't um determine whether or not a show is good or not and it shouldn't be judged um it shouldn't be a factor into judging what the show is going to be like without like watching the show first please let me know in the comments below and don't forget to follow us on Twitter so we can keep you up to any, any new videos we post up and also like our Facebook page and also support us through Patreon so we can continue to push out great content for this video. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Ravity's Wall Animation Bliss, and I'll see you later.